a very quick video this time just to flag a feature that I didn't realize had been added. It's in the current channel. It's not yet hit the semi-annual channel and it's about making drop-down boxes easier to refer to tables, which is, just, this is just awesome. Let me show you what I mean. So historically, if you put a drop-down list and I'll just add one here, so data, data validation. If you add a drop-down list on a different sheet and you refer to a table, so this table is on a different sheet, the drop-down list works, but it doesn't get bigger. So if I put a D in here, this does not expand. So I used to use named ranges and workarounds like that. However, in the current channel, um, this is awesome. Look, same list. Here's my here's my drop down, and if I add something new here, it is just working. That is so good. Okay, it's in the current channel and the beta channel, so it's it's been out a while, and I never knew this was here. So I hope you find this useful. The the validation list still just shows up as the range, so C7 to C10 it doesn't have the table name, but you know I can live with that. That's all good. Hope you find it useful. Catch you next time. Please subscribe.